Hello, this is Austin Henry 2, Foxford Tango Golf. And now we are taking a look inside one of these stock antennas we measured previously. Now let's get rid of the whip. As we don't need to know about that, it's just connected with the normal M3. I think it's just an M3 thread. So let's get rid of the sticker over the magnet. There we go. You oh, can see there's just a magnet and a piece of steel. Let's prop that open so we can see if the shield is connected at all to the steel. There we go. And yeah, no. We can quite clearly see here that the shield was not connected in any way. It was not even crimped. It was not even like a crimp fit to the steel puck inside of it and it just it just can it has been stripped and uh, at least the uh, the stud here is soldered but the shield is just a crimp fit here so if you want it to actually be a positive fit you'd Reattach this and maybe solder it here. Uh, the steel attracts solder. And you can also solder like a few radials directly to this if you have a crappy ground plane and it should perform a bit better. Let's let's take a look inside the next one. Yeah, smaller magnet inside this one. And the coax rotates. I think this is gonna be worse. It's also deeper inside. Oh, you can actually see a tiny, tiny bit of copper here. So it actually might make some electrical contact. Hmm. Let's see if I cut myself open. This is a tighter fit than the previous one. Oh, this is frustrating. There we go. And yeah, this time it was slightly crimped to the side, but it's just press fit. So once again, if you want it to be a bit better, you can just push it a bit, a bit out, reattach, reattach the original disc, and then solder that one with it, and add radials or stuff, or just Remove the sticker so it makes better contact with the metal, there's less capacitance that way. And next... Well, the sticker is a bit better on, on this one. Or maybe it's just older and it has had more time to dry. Oh, it's on a bit more strongly, and an even smaller magnet than before, if we compare. Let's pry this one out. Not a trace of copper, not even a smallest whiff. There we go. Well, yeah, this was press fit as before, and it's soldered the stud. Yeah, it's still, still the same. No surprises. Next. Oh. Small magnet once again. Mm, 
this is oh, I was gonna say that it's pressed in there quite well but oh well it wasn't and we can once again see that it was just a press fit and even not even a good, very good one at that and the coax is not attached here in any real way as we can see yeah nothing new same crap no surprises and the last one Ah, here the magnet followed the sticker. This also has one of those small magnets. Only one had a larger one, like the older bases had. Oh yeah, no surprises. Press fit and coax. Not fastened in any way. No. So on. So there we are. There you have it. This all more or less suck. The best way, honestly, is to just cut them and make use the use it for something else. Oh, it's still running. Okay. Yeah, just cut them and make an adapter or something out of it. The stock antennas are useless. <laughs>